Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I hope everybody of you are super excited for the launch of the Agentic AI free course. And uh, I hope you have probably registered for the course itself. Uh, the reason is very simple because from tomorrow, 28th uh, December, we are going to have our first end-to-end -end project of building Agentic AI applications with the help of Python. And we will be using a framework which is called as Phi Data. Okay, so tomorrow we are going to start with that. Uh, in this video, I really want to just give you a brief idea about all the prerequisites uh, to know before you probably start this particular free course. Uh, because many people yesterday had requested, Krish, what are the prerequisites, what we really need to know to start this specific course and all. And uh, in this video, I'll be talking about that. Okay, so let me just go ahead and share my screen and let us go step by step to just make you understand what all prerequisites you specifically require okay so over here first of all uh, this was the entire course details uh, building agentic ai free course if you have not registered go ahead and register it um, the reason is that i will be providing you the dashboard along with that all the materials will be available over there uh, even the videos once it is made live in youtube channel it will also be shown over there so that you have a place wherein you can probably discuss with your peers you can discuss in the form of community if you have any queries everything will be available in the dashboard anyhow i will be providing this particular link in the description of this particular video now uh, coming to the most important thing what are the prerequisites you know so here uh, first of all understand what is the goal of this entire course the goal is very simple in this course we will be building agentic ai application with the help of frameworks such as langflow Phi data, Lang graph, and Autogen. So, as I said, every every day I will be uploading some kind of videos. I'll be uploading some tutorials, some end-to-end -end projects wherein we will be building agentic AI applications. So, I've considered four to five frameworks which will be more than sufficient to get started with. Okay. And the second aim is that I will also try to include multiple LLM models, right? It will not be only OpenAI because OpenAI is paid. I will try to use Grok, which has open source LLM models. We'll try to use Hugging Face, which again has some of the open source LLM models so that you will be able to understand. Now, the first prerequisite that everybody needs to know is Python programming language. Why I'm saying Python programming language? And when I say Python programming language, I'm not saying that, uh, hey, you need to be very good at list. You need to be very good at dictionaries and all that. I hope everybody knows about it. But why Python programming language? I'll just give you an example. Let's say that I'm building this particular project, okay? And uh, tomorrow probably I'll be uploading this. Here I'm using Grok API, you know. Uh, in my environment variable, I have the Grok API. How to read that particular API keys, how to load all the environment variables, you know, how to probably import all these libraries, how to, how to write this particular code in such a way that you should be able to understand. And here I'm also going to use GitHub Copilot because it is completely available uh, for free. Uh, I'll also show you how you can increase your productivity, right? How to probably use some kind of modular structured code. All those things I will try to show you. Uh, but the prerequisite is that you need to know some hands-on. You need to probably have some knowledge with respect to the hands-on itself, right? Now here I'm using OpenAI API key. I'm using Grok API key. Grok API is for open source. Many people would definitely require over here. You can see Llama 3, 70 billion parameters. I'm using it over here. This is just one agent. This is the other agent. So these all are specific Python code, right? And with respect to the frameworks that we are uh, learning, uh, you know, your, your libraries, your, your parameters may change a bit. You know, and then finally you go ahead and execute it. Let's let's show you one more thing, right? Now this this code that I've actually written, this uh, I created as a playground. So here you can see I've also created some playgrounds over here. Now this code that you'll be seeing it is specific to the framework, but along with that some of the necessary things how to probably create the requirement.txt how to create the environment virtual environment how to create a env file this all you should definitely know python is super important right now you know there were time you know where i probably used to explain everything from scratch machine learning deep learning and all we used to build end to end applications but now fast forward because of llm because of frameworks like this now building application has become much more easier and uh, when i say easier uh, in a very much faster way you'll be able to create it and you'll also be able to deploy it right so these are some of the examples and this is the first tutorial that i'm also going to upload tomorrow right so python is definitely required you need to know 
have some kind of hands-on knowledge of integrating LLM models. Like how do you work with a hugging face? How do you probably work with OpenAI LLM models? How do you work with Mistral? All these things, right? So once I probably implement this, uh, you should need to know, have some knowledge about tools like DuckDuckGo, Y Finance tools, and there are multiple tools already. Frameworks like Langchain and all have been given up, right? So one is Python. Definitely you need to know, have a very good knowledge about it. The second thing is that you need to have some idea about working with generative AI applications, right? So here, if you probably see Krishna generative AI playlist, here I have created one amazing playlist in my YouTube channel. It has more than millions of views over here. Uh, everything I've explained. And here, the common framework that I've used is Langchain and Langgraph. If you are familiar with Langchain, at least, you should be able to understand any other frameworks that we specifically use because all the functionalities will be common, like, it will be almost common. It will have some similar functionalities itself, you know. Uh, like in Langchain, how do you specifically use tools? So here, one of the videos there over there, right? And if you know how to integrate tools, you can also integrate uh, with respect to any frameworks because those are the same thing over there, right? So this is really, really important. You have to probably cover my generative AI playlist. It can be with respect to Langchain and all. But again, let's say that if you also want a course, right? I have also created in Udemy course. Now in Udemy, you can see complete data science, complete generative AI with Langchain and Hugging Face. If you probably see this, more than 39,000 plus people have probably taken this. The average rating is 4.65. It is a bestseller. And you can also go ahead and, and the price is just 549. You can just go ahead and try it out. And here, like how Python is specifically used along with generative AI applications that everything is basically explained over here. You know, uh, like for the people who really want to start from basics, you can probably also start it from here. So I've implemented almost everything, how to probably create a conversational QA chatbot, end-to-end -end QA chatbot, you know, how to probably create a drag document Q&A. So this course is must for everyone, okay? So if you probably just go and search for Krish Naik in Udemy and search for generative AI course, you should be able to get this particular course. And my main aim is again to come up with much more affordable courses as we go ahead, right? So once you are also familiar with this, you can also take this because see, you need to have generative AI applications knowledge, right? How do you develop an end to end? How do you play with libraries like Langchain, this, that and all? Because here we are developing agentic AI. It is, the workflows are quite complex. It is more complex than normal generative AI applications because in generative AI application, we may just use some tools. But here in agentic AI applications, we are creating agents. We are creating autonomous agents and this agents internally will be having a lot of communications with different, different tools, right? So the more complex workflows is being built in agentic AI applications. So it is important that you have the generative AI knowledge. If you don't have this, I think it will be a problem for you all to understand, okay? Along with this, uh, if you also are interested, you can also go ahead and join my live classes, okay? Uh, so we have also launched live bootcamp classes. We have three. One is complete big data bootcamp, live advanced NLP generative AI bootcamp. So you can also go ahead and probably join this, you know, and this is also live sessions. Like if you have starting from basics, definitely generative AI, if you're starting from basics, if you want more hands-on, more explanation, more hand-holding, then this is the live bootcamp that you can start. And the price is just 3540. And right now in the Christmas, we are going up ahead with 20% off, uh, which you can probably contact our counseling team and you can get more help out of it. You you know, then there is also live computer vision. It is up to you. This is also with generative AI what we are trying to do. Okay. So once you probably cover this all, uh, then we are good to go. And then you will be seeing that this kind of application, I'll, I'll write each and every line of code, how to probably go ahead and create environment variables and all uh, that is a prerequisite. So I don't want to again discuss about that. But this is just one kind of uh, code that you'll be seeing. Now see, um, I have just asked this question. Okay and it is using Grok API, a open source model. Uh, summarize, uh, like Lama 3 it is using, summarize analyst recommendations, share the latest news for a specific stock. And if you probably see this over here, if I just go ahead and execute it, all the informations, I will be able to get it in a much more easier way, right? So as soon as probably execute this, see, summarizing analyst recommendation, share the latest news for NVDA, how to probably convert this into a custom ch uh, chatbot, I will also show you. Again, with the same frameworks, whatever frameworks we are using. So this is with respect to coding. After completing this, we'll also go in no code solutions, okay? Where you can just drag and drop and you can create complex workflows. So this is quite amazing. So here you can see the entire, nowadays there are a lot of startups who are doing this specific work, you know? 
they're just uh, analyzing the recommendation and they're sending the reports to that chennai individuals you know so here you can see the entire answer so i hope you are super excited and i hope you have understood about the prerequisites that you really need to know uh yeah tomorrow uh, morning 10 am will be our first video first tutorial uh, we will start with five data and uh, we'll start building projects end to end applications so yeah this was it uh, please make sure that you hit like share with many of your friends i will see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one dollar